Good evening everybody, I'm Kath Lloyd from Make the Change and it is Wednesday and it is 8 o'clock and it is Let's Talk and uh, tonight the subject matter is walking therapy but actually I've changed it to walking and talking therapy because you know the NHS already do a walking therapy which is slightly different to what I want to talk about tonight. So um anyway we all know we don't need to be told that um you know being sedentary isn't healthy for us because it's going to have an effect on our not just our weight but our muscles our, our bones our blood pressure our joints our immune system um and um and then it's going to have an effect on our emotional and mental health. And, you know, when we're feeling down, anxious, as if life is never going to get any better, yes, it's going to have a huge effect on us because um, it'll have an effect on our um, emotional health. It's going to make us feel as if we, you know, we really do not want to take physical activity, which is then going to have an effect on our physical health, which is then going to have an effect on how we feel about ourselves, which is then going to have an effect on our emotional health, which is then going to have an effect on our mental health, which is then going to go in a big cycle and affect our physical health yet again. And uh, it will, and if we carry on long enough, it will create a, a new habit which isn't such a good habit and um, you will find that you're going round and round in circles and it becomes a cycle okay so you know what is the difference about you know walking and talking therapy to having uh, talking therapy normally well you know, walking, talking therapy isn't a fitness session. However, some people might want to do that, um, you know, but I had got no intention of setting these, uh, setting up these walking, talking therapies. And then it's like, get down and we'll do 10 press ups. However, you know, if somebody wants to do that, I might have to draw somebody in to do that sort of thing with you. But so, no, it's not about a, you know, a fitness session. It's a gentle approach to engaging in some um, physical exercise. And we all know that walking is very, very good for us. And it doesn't put too much pressure on the joints. And so it's going to be inclusive for a lot of people. So not just, you know, the average person It's going to be good for the elderly. Um, those you know who are recovering from cancer walking is meant to be very very good for people with Parkinson's disease those with arthritis um, he, anybody who is on some form of recovery system and of course very very good for helping mild and moderate depression you know we're not talking about bipolar here you know, that is something very, very different. But still, you know, some form of physical exercise is also good for that as well. But, you know, walking, talking therapy is a great way of, you know, bringing in some form of process to help you move in a different direction of where you want to go. And it's in a perfect place because quite often you know you know when I'm working with people when I'm working with groups of people a lot of my time is spent especially at the beginning when people are very anxious and very stressed it's about helping them engage in more and better breathing techniques in mindfulness in gratitude and so combining the walking and the talking therapy together is going to allow uh, me to work with people um, in an environment where it's easily done, when people can easily engage in um, some breathing which is going to be in the fresh air and we know that fresh air and being out in the greenery and in the countryside, even if it's just a local park, is a lot very very therapeutic for you and you know a lot of people I believe um, shy away from 
going and having talking therapy because they find it very oppressive sitting in an office uh, opposite somebody discussing issues that are very, very personal to you. And, you know, it can be very, make it very, very difficult to open up. I know, you know, when I've had counselling in, in the past, you know, it took me one and a half sessions to actually start to feel a little bit more comfortable. And so, I, you know, I believe that the walking, talking therapy is really going to open up um, a better conversation, a more freer conversation. And, you know, people, both of the, you know, myself and the people that I'll be working with are going to feel a lot more relaxed. And, you know, also it can be done at just like with any sort of um, talking therapy it is done at the pace of the person in the group but also this could be done in with groups of people which will then bring us a, 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 um you know more strengths you know to what's being done because you're meeting other people who you know might have um similar issues enjoy the company of other people so if you are you know if, if you've struggled to find a, a reason to go out uh, and meet new people then this is another great way of being able to do that and so you know the walking talking therapy is going to not only develop other friendships which is is also good but to also you know work on those issues that are causing grave concerns for you and finding better ways of moving through life and and challenging those uncomfortable conflicting thoughts and arguments that are going through your head in in a way that is that is going to be uh, a lot more productive um and it's, you know, walking is accessible to everybody, isn't it? You know, it's it's not costly to do. All you need is a pair of trainers or boots, some water, perhaps a raincoat just in case. However, we don't really need it at the moment unless you're down in Wimbledon, of course, because it's raining down there. And, you know, you don't have to go very far. And also, you know, it could be done in different terrains. So, you know, this is open to people also who are wheelchair users, you know, because there's a lot of places, you know, where there's good paths now and or it's fairly flat or else you can go somewhere where it's a little bit more strenuous. It's all down to the group and the sort of um, places that people want to go. So it can be tailor-made to the individual or to the group. So for example, you know, I could run a group that is um, suitable for people um, who need um, a flat environment and then run a separate group where people want to have something a little bit more where they have to exert their energy a little bit more um you know so it's a great way of putting different things together to get a good outcome as if you know you were going and sitting down in an office with somebody and also i mean i've done coaching in public places as well um and and that's fine but again sometimes you might feel a little bit conspicuous or a bit worried that people will overhear because unfortunately people do earwig and they um you know they people pe a lot of people people watch and so can pick up on information with uh, very subtleties of information that um you, you don't realize is happening so i mean ian you know what do you think i know that you ian are really into your fitness and it would be great to hear what you think about walking talking therapy and so you know perhaps if you're having a little think about it 
I am thinking about setting up um, a weekly group in September. Um, August is a difficult time because it's the main holiday season. So I'm looking at September and it's just trying to work out what is the best time of day, which is the best day. Everybody's got different work schedules these days. You know, back 50 years ago, it was more nine to five. Most, you know, most of the population did do nine to five working. But of course, there's a lot wider variety of shift patterns now. So it's trying to work out which is the best um, time scale for everybody. And, you know, going in groups, working in groups means it's going to be a lot more accessible for people because it will just be a nominal fee, um, you know, to, to come along. And, you know, and it's a great way of bringing your friends along as well and doing something with your friends as well and talking about different issues. So I was going, you know, I'm looking at, you know, having different themes, um, you know, that we talk about doing at the beginning, doing some breathing to get people invigorated, um, perhaps using a little bit of essential oil as well to get people uh, engaged or even if people are a, bit, a little bit anxious or stressed to help calm them down so they can enjoy the process a lot more, um, you know, a lot more. So this is quite a short little session really, unlike some of them. I know I rattled on a lot last week, but you know, walking is a fabulous way of exercising and I want to be able to help as many people as I can and I feel that this is one of the ways that I can do it without putting too much extra tension and stress on people, um, you know, without having to sit in a classroom or sit in an office and, and, and discussing issues in, in perhaps an oppressive atmosphere. So what I really need to find out from you guys who are listening is if you're interested or is, is this something that you are interested in or you know somebody who, is, who might be interested in it and the best time to do it. Um, you know, is it the weekend? Is it in the middle of the day? Is it in the evening after work or even before work? Because, you know, everybody has their better time of day for whatever reason that might be. So I'm going to leave it there for the moment. Um, I'd love you to have a little think about the walk and talk therapy. I'd love to hear from you. And I will be speaking to you again next week, probably somewhere in Edinburgh. But have a great week. Enjoy the sunshine, but keep cool. Keep putting your sun cream on. Uh, have a good night's sleep and a great week. Bye-bye.